Geo Society Centrex Self Care Training Scenario 1 How to identify FLN short codes First Society authorized signatory that is AS should enter this URL www.geo.com in the browser and after the page opens he should then click on the business tab on the home page Second Society authorized signatory needs to log in to Society Centrex self care portal Third, after entering credentials, Society Authorized Signatory should click on Sign In. Fourth, Society AS will reach on the home page. Under Service Summary for Product Society Centrex, refer column Total Count. Click on the number shown in that column. Fifth, find your CUG ID. Click on the drop down button which is in front of CUG ID. Select Manage option. Sixth, click on update FLN or mobile number and find your fixed line number or mobile number linked with respective short codes. You will find the edit symbol in front of fixed line number or mobile number. Click on the edit symbol. Seventh, add the desired number you want to update and click two times on green tick button in front of the number. Then click on continue. Eighth, Click on Submit button. After submission, customer will be able to view FLN update request details. Scenario 2. Resident moving out of society or terminated the geofiber connection. Follow the same steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 of how to modify FLN shortcode and then remove or erase the number you want to move out. Click two times on the green tick button in front of the number and then Click on continue. Click on submit button. After submission, customer will be able to view the request details. Scenario 3. How to add intercom point, new tower or new floor. Society authorized signatory can send request to businesscare at the rate geo.com or can call to 1-800-8899-444 toll free customer care number. Email needs to be sent from registered email ID. Authorized signatory need to mention the CUG ID in the mail subject line. Below are the mandatory fields to be shared across on mail for each of the scenarios. HQ ID and location ID also needs to be mentioned in each SR type. If multiple fields are there, data needs to be sent in Excel. For HQ ID and location ID, Society authorized signatory should go to dashboard and then click on account summary. Society authorized signatory should then click on the society name under headquarter and the headquarter ID will show up. Society authorized signatory should click on the society name shown under billing in billing location. The billing location ID will show up. Scenario 4. Customer moving to another flat in the same society. If customer moving from A short code flat to B short code flat, then Step 1. Delete FLN mapping against short code A as detailed in Scenario 2 and submit. Step 2. Enter the same FLN against short code B as detailed in Scenario 1 and submit. Thank you.